Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another modded object showcase. So as you've already seen by the title, we have got remastered versions of the default gas giants. So it's slightly different from the realistic or the enhanced versions. These versions are basically these versions we see in front of us, but they've been upgraded a bit. They've added more bands and just made just made them more pretty, basically. So yeah, massive thank you to Mad Planet Guy for sharing these with me for me to uh, show in this video. So without further ado... Let's see what he's uh, prepared for us here. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up. Uh, I've already got them all saved in the menu here. So we've got, I've just called them S, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then Planet 9. So let's go ahead and place these guys. So the new uh, Jupiter, or the uh, up, I should say the upgraded Jupiter, we're going to place it down there. Then this again with the Saturn, I'm going to place you down there. Then Uranus, and then we'll get uh, we'll go a close uh, shot with them um, all together as well. Uh, then we have Neptune. Down there, and then lastly the Planet Nine variant. So let's just go ahead and place that there. Okay, cool. Right. So Jupiter first. So as we can see, if we just compare it to the original model up here, I mean you can tell straight away there's a lot more going on. I mean the default Jupiter, as we all know, it's very very boring, unrealistic, and there's just not enough there. But as we can see with this new version of Jupiter, it's not like a super banded version or the ultra realistic versions we got. It's simply just a nice remodel version to make it look a little more cool um, if you don't want to have your game lagging like crazy. Because those super versions, they do make your game lag once you start running the simulations and trying to open their menus and stuff. So yeah, here's a nice little remodel of the uh, default Jupiter. i got to say, yeah, it's a nice, nice upgrade from that one, I have to say. Very good indeed. Uh, next up, we got Saturn. So here we have the default Saturn. As we know, we've seen that one for a long time. And now we have the improved Saturn. So I can definitely tell there's negative contrast on all of these objects but as well. So let's go from that little shadow effect, which is pretty cool. But we can see with the Saturn, I've always said that Saturn's probably the one at least needed an upgrade. But yeah, either way, it's looking good. I can see its dark bands are more expanded. And yeah, overall, a very nice upgrade indeed. So yeah, that is Saturn's version. Next up, we've got Uranus's upgraded version. So as we can tell from this, you can see it's a lot brighter than default Uranus. We can probably drag these guys up a little bit, the ice giants, because they are obviously a lot smaller. So we'll go ahead and just uh, slide them all up here. Okay, so yeah, the new upgraded Uranus. I've got to say, it's looking good. I'm liking it. I think it's a lot better um, with it being brighter. Because obviously this one is more dull and dim. But this one's nice and bright, shiny, and yeah, the bands have also been improved. I think if we open the menu, we may be able to actually have a little peek into how many more bands this one has. So can we see uh, bands? Okay, so that's how many bands the new one has. So even, even with these enhanced versions, they still have a lot of bands compared to the original. If we look at the original Uranus, and go to bands, yeah, there's quite a lot more. So I'm guessing that applies for all of these as well. So yeah, they have probably 10 times more bands than the original ones. So they are just absolutely crazy. Um, I'm guessing it's the same with our next uh, look here at Neptune. So as we can see, Neptune, the new uh, upgraded version of Neptune. So if we have a look here, comparing it to the original, you can see it, the white bands, for instance. You see the white band in the middle there. The white bands are the, the more light blue bands in the south. They're a lot bigger than they are on the default Neptune. They stand out a lot more as well, which is looking cool. And you can also see in the North Pole there, if you look carefully, we'll open up the menu for this one as well. You can see there's a lighter blue band at the top as well. If we look at that compared to the default Neptune, you can see it's just a more enhanced version. So it's not like we're not going for the craziest banded versions or whatever. Like he said, this one is simply just a remastered remodels of the defaults. And yeah, I've got to say, they have come together very nicely indeed. So... Yeah, that is the Neptune variant. And then lastly, the Planet 9 variant. So Planet 9, as we know, it doesn't actually have a texture of its own. It's mainly just random versions. So if we just uh, open up the menu again, for example, if you place Planet 9s in, they look different every single time. But what my Planet guy has done is he's made a model off the uh, icon here, I believe, and just a mix of all of the different bands you can get. And he has uh, came up with this, which is um, looking quite interesting. Now, if you say it's also got the negative contrast on it as well. Yeah, I've got to say, it's not looking too shabby. I mean, it's the bands are a lot nicer and neater organised. I mean, with the random ones, you get some horrible looking combos of colours. And yeah, some of them just look horrid. So it's nice to see that there's now a... Um, or he's made a variant which would be the same every single time. So yeah, I'm liking it. I think it goes uh, blends quite well with the... Um, the other gas giants as well in the line here. So if we just get them all lined up now. So there you go. There's a full uh, lineup of them all. So without further ado, we'll go through them all once more. So we'll start off with Planet 9 this time. So you can see Planet 9. Yeah, it's looking a lot more complex than the sort of default models you get. Again, with the Neptune. Yeah, 
It's also got a sort of negative contrast dark spot effect on it as well, which is looking cool. So there's a the default Neptune. And then Uranus, I think, is one of the best looking upgrades. I really, really like the enhanced brightness on it as well. I think it does look, it stands out a lot more. I have to say, yeah, I think it, I rate it. I think it really does look cool. So there's Uranus. Then we have Saturn as well. I've got to say, Saturn, I think, is probably going to be my favourite. I think it re just really, it is a really, really good upgrade. It's obviously not too complex like the Mega Bands. We can throw the Mega Bands in, actually, before we finish up today. So, yeah, there is the Saturns. And then lastly, we've got the uh, Jupiter with the Enhanced Bands as well. So, yeah, I've got to say, very nice upgrade across the board. But what we'll do now is we'll compare them to some of the other modded variants that we have received over the years. So... For instance, we've got the Jupiters. We'll throw all the Jupiter models in here. So there's um, some of the default ones. Or not, I'd say default ones. These are some of my ones that I've got saved. So we'll throw um, sort of all the Mega Banded Jupiters in there. We'll throw the Mega Banded Saturn in. Uh, the Mega Banded Uranus. The um, more custom Uranus. I think it's that's the correct one, yeah. Uh, then we have Neptune. And then we'll throw in uh, some of the other variants as well. So we've got the dark spot neptune there we've got the enhanced neptune we've got the like the bog standard sort of uranus so that there's a nice line i thought we'll throw my planet nine in there as well good old classic there so now if we line them all up you can see there's a real different mix of variants across the years so we can see we've got the original saturn we've got the new saturn for today's video and then we've got the ultra enhanced saturn so you can see it's not on the level of the ultra enhanced version but still it's a very nice upgrade that won't lag your game out because if i open the menus of any of these super gas giants with the super bands my game will probably take like two minutes to open the menu so it is very very annoying and yeah these versions are nicer enhanced versions that probably won't lag your game out as much so that's a nice that is very nice indeed but also if we go to the jupiters next as well oh, i don't want to rotate that so there we go so there's the jupiter that's the ultimate jupiter there the one with the most bands and we can see there's some other variants we've had over the years as well of all the upgrades so what we can see here is like progression we've got the default tubes then we've got the new enhanced one if you want to turn it up a bit more you've got this one which is one of the older ones and if you want to keep going all the way to the max you get that so you kind of got like a scale of how advanced you want your jupiter to look which is really really cool same with the Saturns, and then onto the Uranus as well. We've got the default Uranus, the, the new, um, the new upgraded Uranus today. Then we've got the realistic sort of Uranus there, with just the one band design, which is always cool. Then we have the ultra enhanced Uranus, which is this variant here. It's going off the photo realistic variant as well, also the ultimate laggy version. And then onto the Neptunes as well. We've got the default Neptune, the Neptune for today's video, the remastered edition of the defaults. Then we've got the more mega banded variants over here. So we can see there's the ultimate Neptune there. Then we've got the Dark Spot variant, which is always one of my favourites as well. And then we have the Ultra. This one wasn't even made by Mad Planet Guy, but we have the Ultra Blue variant there as well, which is cool. And then onto the Planet Nines, we obviously got the default, the uh, upgraded version of the default. And then we got my good old uh, classic there as well. But yeah, there we go. So that is a full lineup of um, all of these new remastered versions of the uh, default solar system objects. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm sure MadPlanetGuy will be interested in any feedback you have for them. If you would like to get a copy of these yourselves as well, make sure to check MadPlanetGuy out on the Steam Workshop. You'll see the uploads for each of these planets on there. For instance, if you go into the Workshop, um, and obviously once you subscribe to it, they will appear in your menu here. So they look like this. You'll be able to find these on his uh, Workshop page here. Definitely go ahead and uh, check those out. And yeah, that all said and done. Massive thank you to Mad Planet Guy for sharing this with us. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 40 likes today, guys. Subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 22,000 subscribers. And yeah, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.